picked the clusters of berries off the pulp plant. Then I separated the berries from the stems, mashed them up, added vinegar and water, and I left them to sit for about a week in the sun to ferment. After that, I strained, the li strained all the particles out, kept the liquid, added some more vinegar, and then I had my dye bath ready. Placed the skeins in a pan of water and added vinegar and let them soak for about an hour. After that, I drained the liquid out of them and added them to the dye bath. I let them soak in the dye bath for a couple hours and then later I heated the, the dye bath up, didn't get it to boiling or to simmering, just got it hot, turned the heat off, covered it up and let it sit till it cooled off. This is after it's been sitting for a while. Then I took it out hung it on the line and let it drain, or let it air dry for a little while, uh, maybe 30 minutes. It was kind of a cloudy day, you, you wouldn't want to hang them up in the sun, you want to keep them in the shade. I had some color left in the dye bath, so I thought I'd add a couple more little mini skeins just to, to see what difference in shades we'll get. This is after I've taken them off the line. They're kind of a little stiff. I haven't washed them yet. I have them in a little dish pan. I'm just going to wash them with a, a little soap or a little Dawn dishwashing liquid and water. This is what they look like after they've been hand washed and rinsed and now I've got them hanging up to dry once they get good and dry I'll show you the pictures of the finished skeins that's the zebra yarn that's just the hundred gram skeins these are sock yarns And there's the finished skeins. Thank you for watching.